All right. Hopefully, music happens this time? Question mark? There it goes. I feel like I need to run into the other room real quick to make sure that the actual music is working. I think I'll do that. I'll be right back. The music is still not working. Let me try to mess with it real quick. All right, I think we're back. I, I had to select a different track in OBS for the sound. <sighs> Hopefully you guys can hear that now. Hopefully it's not gonna just be some dead air. <clears throat> we're here. Hopefully we can hear the game. Man, streaming is stressful. All right. So we're going to pick up where we left off the other day, which I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but here's my character. Almost done. I should be uh, 120 Discord dance, but I didn't make it that far because I just got the scrolls a little bit late. But I do have 120 music and 120 provoke. <clears throat> so we're going to try to uh, set up some hotkeys for that loveliness. And if you're here, can you type in the chat? I just want to make sure that that works. Or no one's here. It's cool. Either way. This was an unexpected stream part dos all right it works i typed in i typed it in myself Hello. Yes. Utils. Yeah, you can use my porch. That's cool. Good luck, buddy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue on the script learning of being a bard. Uh, the other day when we left off, I was trying to provoke some random monsters with one key. And that kind of works. 
but we will continue to hone this in so that we can have a single key in order to rule them all. Uh, the other thing that happened when I was training is that Anaconda can teleport. I thought I was being killed by potentially a rogue guildy. However, I discovered that that Anaconda at the zoo can exit his cage and he can wreck people. So I lost my gear to an Anaconda. So a little disclaimer. Be careful what you wear while you're over there at the zoo. All right, let's gear up. Get some stuff going on here. Do I have any gear that I can take? Just need some basic. We'll go chain mail. Live wild. In the chain. Like a true bard. No, I got that helmet. I don't need that. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got that. Now I need a crossbow. I need a crossbow or a bow. What we got? Go with a crossbow today. Fly. Am I out of bolts? I'm out of bolts. Okay, we're gonna have to pick up some bolts. All right, so I got an instrument. That loot's almost dead, and that's a regular loot. Let's uh, go ahead and take one of these guys. We'll just throw that on the ground. Crosstalk. Hey, how's it going, man? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, another Bard Scripting episode. We're going to do this. We got uh, 120 provocation, 120 music. I didn't quite make it to 120 Discord dance because I couldn't get any scrolls. Nobody was selling them. Um, <clears throat> But that's fine. We, we are at least ready to rock and roll. I was just gearing up real quick and we're going to go out and try to improve our one hot key for provoke. Because we got it to work a little bit the other day, but not good enough. We're going to hone that in. <clears throat> and I learned a couple things that I'm hopefully we'll get to share with some people about overhead messages and how we can check to see how things are bard breaking or not. So, again, not a bard, we'll see how it goes. And of course I got the uh, the old water burger soda. Stay hydrated, my friends. Or stay thirsty? Shit, I don't even say the right saying. Also, hopefully the sound, can you hear the sound? Everything's good there? Like, can, I, can you hear the hype horn? Wait, that didn't work. The button didn't work. Let me let me try something real quick. Man, I got spoiled with the first couple streams. Everything went great. And then last stream, the sound wasn't working right. And that threw me for a loop. And then OBS crashed. Here we go. Hopefully the horn comes across. I apologize to anybody who sat through the yesterday's episode or the one before. Yes, horn works. Thank you. <laughs> Crisis averted, you know. This is a successful stream. I can turn it off now. All right, cool. So I got my gear. I have my... I need to go buy some bolts. We're going to activate some aspect here. There we go. We are going to head to town real quick, pick up some bolts, and then we'll we'll go fight something. <clears throat> and by fight something, I mean we'll stand in front of it and try to script it. Uh, I need the bolts. Pick up some bolts. Please have bolts. 
Don't make me run around. No! Why are you empty? Like the provisioner. Bye. Yay. 250, that works for me. Alright. And while I'm here, I, I need to buy uh, my default outfit as a surcoat. I don't know if you guys heard, but that anaconda at the zoo can get out of its cage. They killed me. I lost my loot to an anaconda. Which is kind of bullshit. That's okay. All right, we are going to... Where should we go? Where should we learn how to fight with the auto killing? What do we got here? Palma is 15% gold, Nasiro. Let's go to Nasiro. Just kidding, we're going to Palma because that's where I live. All right, we'll start here with these wild wolves. Okay, so the the script we were working on before is this bad boy right here. And what I wanted to do is try to target the closest creature with a single, you know, wink, and then try to provoke it to the next nearest creature. And that didn't quite work right. But we're gonna hone that in. We're gonna get this rolling with a single button. Hey Chris, how's it going man? Appreciate you showing up. I kind of don't want none unless you got loot, true. Oh true. Sorry, I can't sing. That was embarrassing. Uh, all right, so we are going to just review this script real quick. I'm trying to target the closest non-friendly monster, right? In this case, it might be a, a cuckoo. Okay, so that's unfortunate. We're gonna set that as mob one. And then I wanna try to target the next non-friendly creature. Now in theory, I wanted to t uh, do the next closest. And I might, instead of just auto magically doing this, we might wait. We might bring up a target for this. So instead of doing it auto magically, we're gonna ask Razor for the target. And let's see if this works. So we're gonna save. And remember, this is bound to Q. I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna hit Q. It targets the first wolf, and then I target the next wolf. And that looks as though it didn't work. It said too far away. What instrument shall you play? Wow. First noob mistake. We'll handle that in the script in a second. I'm double clicking that. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna hit Q. And it properly worked. All right, now I'm gonna hit Q again. Okay, and I'm gonna target that guy. That didn't work. Hitting Q again. Okay. I'm, I, I don't know what's happening. I think it's working. These guys are wrecking each other. Okay, we'll hit Q. Targets the wild wolf. Target the llama. I mean, I'm a bard, guys. This is official. Gaining that EXP. We'll loot these wolves. <clears throat> Alright, so... Again, not being a bard, not knowing what the appropriate action is here. My current script automatically targets the nearest creature to me and starts to provoke with that one. And then it's whoever I target is the next person, right? So uh, hopefully that makes sense. So like, for example, if I hit Q here, it targeted the pure water. And then it's asking me like, who's the next target? I'm going to click the eagle and it properly makes them fight, right? So one click to do both. Not too bad. 
Not too shabby. Can you do it across here, or does that work? I don't know. Let's find out. Your water... Oops, I targeted itself. I just don't want to do that. Can target cannot be seen. Okay, can't do that. We'll, uh, we'll slow kite this guy. Oh, the other thing is I need a discorded in hotkey. I haven't done that yet. All right, look at me, I'm a bard. You could search for the nearest enemy that isn't your car target? Yes. Potentially. That's what I need to figure out how to do. Merlitz. Oh, buddy. Loot train. Pipe, 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 pipe. Lemon. Hammer. I have no clue what I'm watching. Hey, welcome. This is called UO Outlands. Who needs a bard when you got arrows? Exactly. I'm just a shitty archer that plays music. <laughs> Badly. Alright, we're going into Palma. Alright, so again, I've improved my hotkey. It's gonna it's gonna automatically target that minion. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna target the, the shallow water and they're fighting. So it's great. I mean again, that's that's working. That's what I want to see. One key to rule them all. Now the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to just audio magically <laughs> target the uh, the things that are near me, right? Like I don't want to actually have to click twice. What am I? A non-scripter playing a game? No, we're a scripter. Merlitz. It's gonna work this time, I swear. Look at that. Hopefully you guys heard that. Thank you, Merlitz. Testing out the the new uh sound activated stream, you know? You guys don't have to just use your imaginations. Like how first stream, I hid my screen the whole time. And then the next stream was pretty good. And then the third stream, or the fourth stream, whatever the previous stream was, I apparently fucked up the sound. So you only heard my voice, which is cringy. You gotta at least hear the game. The noises, like... You know? Thank you, Merlitz. Uh, and I realized that my giveaways, besides needing to get loot and do a giveaway, I'm just going to have to give away real money, you know? I'm going to have to give away prep coins. Right? <laughs> you had to wear headphones to block me out, so true. Uh, Lemon Hammer wants the live Orc Hunter. That was deleted. I'm sorry. I... I can do it though. Hood figure. Hood figure. Toes are toes. The roll is a roll. And if we don't get no toes, then we don't need no roll. Woot woot. <laughs> woot woot from Chris. Thank you, sir. We got we got two donations. Oh my goodness gracious. Hype train. Job, you gotta win one of my chests and then you'll get some stuff for a giveaway. Exactly! Yeah, I need to I need to win some loot to give away, which is awkward, you know? Like, hey, can I please can I please have some loot so I can share some loot with other people? I mean Job's is uh you know, he's Mr. Beast. You and crew. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm playing a bard right now. I have one key that should try to provoke two monsters. It's not working quite as exactly as I wanted to at the moment, but... Let's like say I'm gonna run in here. That guy's fighting something. We won't steal his kill. Alright, we're gonna go over here. 
It's gonna get the observer and I'm gonna click the minion. Boom. Okay, they're fighting. Uh, Job, I think you don't need to mess with anything. I'm pretty sure you've already beat the game. You know, whatever you're playing right now, I think you're good. You, you got it. <laughs> I, on the other hand, need all the help I can get. Like, I want to get out on the water again. I, I, I tried to do the boating, like, a couple months ago, and, uh, I just got wrecked. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to know if I could fight something or not, and I would just die over and over again. And I quit. I rage quit. I wasn't even getting killed by players. I was just, I was just dying from monsters. Which seems pretty shitty. So I see you guys boat, and I'm like, holy shit, how does he know he can kill that shit? Amazing. Alright, let's see if we can script these guys so we can actually not have to click two things, right? Like a noob. Because right now I'm clicking two things. Uh, so before I'm, I'm targeting the closest non-friendly monster, right? And that's working. I really want to ignore that target somehow. And then target the next closest non-friendly monster, right? Uh, so we're gonna mess with that a little bit more, because we tried the first day that we were streaming this, um, and it didn't, it didn't work, but we're gonna try again. I'm gonna save this one, though, because this one's pretty good. Let me go ahead and save that as its own thing. Oh shit, the monsters break? Cute. Maybe we shouldn't do this in a dungeon. Maybe I should exit the dungeon if I'm gonna fuck with uh, the scripts. So we don't get murdered. The other thing I need to do is activate my buffs. Which we also learned on the previous stream. We're gonna go over here and there's a buff... Uh, ...script we made. Let's cover that real quick, because this is a learning how to script stream. Some people give away millions of gold, dollars of gold, millions of gold, millions of items and gold. Other people come to see me struggle murdering monsters and writing scripts at the same time. So this buff bot is basically just looping through our different skills and then will buff us. Let's go ahead and play that. There we go, Song of Discordant Ants. We're waiting for the cooldown. Oh man, Song of Provo. And unfortunately, we don't have peacemaking, so I'm not a true bard. A half bard. I'm trying to click these things. I don't know how you guys play this shit. I... Anyway. Alright, we're gonna kill these two monsters, and then we're gonna get out of here, and we're gonna go try to make the script a little bit better, so I can just hit Q by itself, and it just automatically does all this shit. Okay, because I don't want to have to click. Get in the call. Jeez, bards will be... I'm just gonna hit M right when I'm near this. Look, I'm, I'm right near it, hitting M. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold M down and run over here. Move closer. Boom. All right. Another little trick. All right. Let's head back to the house. Jay's house. Jay's wagon. No peace, you're not a bard, you're a poser. Yeah. Pretty much. And sum up how I play this game. I fake it. Okay. Uh, so, going back to where I want to 
I'm gonna I'm gonna save this provoke nearest because again this is an okay script. It's an all right one. Provoke. All right. We're gonna save it as provoke. All right. And I'm gonna post this to the website. Okay. So if anyone wants to use it, they can. Uh, we will go ahead and pull that open. Let's see. Why is it not showing my screen? It should be showing. You will raise your scripts. That did it pop up? I think it did. <clears throat> Alright, so you will raise scripts.com is the website where I post all this shit. So feel free to head over there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add the script live while we're here. Uh, and basically, I'm just. This one's going to be the provoke nearest creature and select the next one. Hey, okay, that sounds like a good one. And it's provocation. We're just going to name that stream bard and provo. All right, that way, if anybody wants to use this, you guys can uh, follow along. I'll type it in the chat there. Boom. And Lemon Cake wanted to hear me uh, rap my Orc Hunter remix song. Are you still here, Lemon Cake? Or Lemon Hammer, or whatever your name is on the YouTubes. All right, so we're gonna head back to the stream. Oh, Chris is here, and he wants to hear it. Oh my goodness! Let's see, introvert technologist. I have a bard, and I don't. I don't use. So I'm relying on you to make it easy. Yeah, fresh start. Exactly. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible, so everyone become a bard, and then they can nerf these scripts. You've been using the two-handed healing on equip? Yeah, thank you. Hey, okay, so Lemon Hammer. I can't play the music, I don't think, because it gets like a copyright or whatever. But it's hood hood figure. Okay. And <clears throat> I was an orc hunter on World of Warcraft. And my name was Beano. Okay. Uh so let me see if let me see if I can get in the in the mood. We're gonna do it live. We're gonna Maybe I should pause this music so I can... <clears throat> okay. No, I can't do it. I, I, don't, I don't... I can't. I'm gonna have to get the tune. I'll tell you what. Next time, I'll have a tune ready, and then I can sing it for you. But the gist is... I'm an orc hunter, dropping arrows by the pound. The alliance keeps spawning. You know Beano run the town. Orc hunter. Very... It was... It was good. And then I didn't know a lyric, so I just repeated what the song was as part of the lyric. And then uh, Lemon Hammer gave me an option. Like, why didn't you say Shaman's chain healing all around? And I was like, you should have been my backup. Keep the perp by the pound. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, sorry for coughing. I am still getting over COVID. I apologize. Hopefully you guys are wearing your masks, staying safe, you know? I'm not, I'm just being a wild streamer over here and getting everybody sick on the internet. <sighs> All right, back to the game. So I've saved the uh, nearest there. We're gonna go ahead and go back to like the real nearest and Again, I'm gonna target the, the closest mob to this mob one. And then I wanna ignore, I wanna ignore mob one. Okay. And we're gonna just stop the script here and we're gonna see if mob one still exists. Okay, so right now, all we're doing is targeting a creature, setting that as mob one, and then hopefully either this returns nothing or it returns the description of the closest monster. So let's go run around real quick. And we'll hit Q, and we should see an Etten. Okay. So an Etten. I'm hitting Q. Now what I would really like to see is it select something else. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna select this 
Q again, and I wanted to ch I wanted to highlight this chicken. A chickadee. But I don't think it will. It's gonna keep trying to get me an Etten. Until I get closest to the chickadee. So see, even though it's adding to the ignore down here, I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks like the target closest non-friendly is in fact not respecting the ignore target, which is very unfortunate. Because if it would respect it, if it, if like I hit Q once and then I hit it again and it said, hey, I can't find any monsters, that would be ideal. Because then we could just one hotkey, ignore that for now, find the next mob. So we're going to have to find a workaround for that. So what can we do? We can check their, the cereal, right? And keep trying to hotkey closest until it doesn't match. Hey, that's an option. But we're going to look and see what our options are in here in the, in the target. We're going to, uh, what, what was this called? Non-friendly. We're just going to search for non-friendly. And we'll see what our options are. We have next non-friendly monster, next previous non-friendly, random non-friendly, next non-friendly, the closest non-friendly. Man, I really wish we could figure out how to get it to, to ignore this object here. All right, let's look in the game options and see what the game macros are because again i don't want to play this game i want to play either razor or hockeys oh by the way some people were saying that like mining scripts were like over the top like who would do that so i made one for the purists inside the game look at that and i bound it to p for purists so if you wanted a mining script inside the game, here you go. Last object, wait for target target self. You're welcome. This is a learning stream. Right, we're going to say new. And we're going to say provoke. Okay, and we're going to see what our options are here. Say no, blah, no, none. Use skill, no. Last object, no. Last target, target self, target next. No. Attack last, no. Always run. We're looking for options to see what we can do to not play this game. Select next, select nearest creature. Okay. Select nearest creature. Hostile party follower. Select nearest creature hostile. Okay. So this is potentially an option. We're gonna we're gonna pull that out and save and we're gonna see what happens. It should choose a chickadee, right? It did. Targeted a chickadee. But so does my Q. So they're both, they're both properly targeting something right near me. Hmm. Hockey target closest non-friendly monster. The ignore doesn't work. Okay, I'm still thinking. See the brain. The brain spinning around saying, huh, how do we, how do we fix this? If the target not as a closest non member doesn't work, then how do I make it work? I just got an alert that said Pwnstar and his viewers are about to join. I don't have a raid message. I don't think. Unless it's part of Streamlabs. this guy running around uh welcome to the stream if you're here thank you we are learning bard scripts 
I'm currently trying to make a one hotkey uh, provoke nearest creatures together with a single key. Uh, we do have one that allows us to hit it once and then select a target based on our nearest target. But I want to just auto magically do that together. And that's what we're trying to figure out. Unfortunately, this ignore is not working. So we do what we can and we can what we do. All right. So that's a black bear. That's an orc. That's a wolf. That's a gargoyle. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll show off what we had before. So if I hit Q, which is my provoke, it chose a forest ostrich because that was the nearest thing. Orc to gargoyle. So it does save a, a key stroke. But I wanted to auto magically do this. The only other way we could do it like is to actually find the mob type and then force the mob type to be uh, attack each other. <clears throat> because if we do a find type, I know ignore works on that. But basically that means we need to like recreate our own version of target closest. That could be a little iffy. Okay. I'm uh I still need to make a hockey for Discord. Pone Star. Thank you, sir. How was your stream? I was watching it before I got I got over here. You are a professional at playing the game. I need you to teach me what you do for hotkeys because apparently I struggle. So for example, here's my provoke. Q. It targets the forest ostrid and then a cougar. Okay, pretty, not bad. But not great. I wanted to just do it. I don't want to have to hit two buttons. I got it, I got it down to at least one click. We, I want it to be just a single. I just want to run inside some mobs and then hit the button. Because like right here, I want to Q Harpy to the Mung Bat. Nice. Okay. But now I want to hit Q again. And I want the rat to attack the larva. But I have to click it. Right? Like who who wants to click it? Yes, it currently picks the closest target as one of the mobs. Sandwich. Thank you for the sub. I will take a sandwich, please. It's like here, we're going to hit Q again. It targets the larva and then we, we click the harpy, right? But I mean, again, who wants to click the harpy? Uh, all these scripts are posted to the website. I just uh, I just posted this this one that I'm using right now to the site called Provoke Nearest Creature and select the next one. Budget song. Yeah, bards are definitely gonna get nerfed to the ground. Jason Pears. Hey, what a great name. Thank you for joining. Thank you for checking out the stream. We have sound this one. On this one? Sound this one. Sound this time? We have sound. Boo, 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 boo. So this stream's already better than the last one. Yeah, I appreciate it, Star. Have a great night. Enjoy your food. What are you going to eat? All right, 
So going back to, I want the ignore to ignore the mob and it's not doing that. So it's a little bit sad. Dude, Whataburger. Yo, Taco Bell? Yeah. <laughs> you should do Whataburger. Come on, man. Ah. I, I, want, I want a sponsorship. Here's my three top sponsors. Three. Chick-fil-A, Whataburger, Monster. I'll take any of them. But those would be my top three. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go back to the script. I'm, I'm just to share with what we were trying to learn is I'm targeting the closest non-friendly. Here, let me pop this open so everybody can see. I'm targeting the closest non-friendly monster, and I'm setting that to mob one, and then I'm ignoring it. And what I was hoping was is that it actually ignored it. But unfortunately, it doesn't. If I continue to target this, it just keeps targeting the same guy, which is really unfortunate. Um, I think I'm just kicking my ass. So I'm trying to think of ways that I could get around that. And one of them is I could loop. We were we were using the next like next non-friendly target. The problem is, it was then everywhere, all over the damn map. And then it didn't target correctly, because the next one was too far away. So the other thing is, like, can we find... Can we find a creature nearby? Um, so that's what we're messing with right now. Fizbin. You wish you had a... I wish up north had Whataburger? Yeah, why doesn't it? Great question. I haven't lived up north. Do you guys have like a certain chain that's replacing Whataburger? That we don't have down south? They don't want anything to do with you? That's rude. Don't they know who you are? Come on. All right. So I'm gonna drop a, I'm gonna drop one more, one more hint, one more clue, one more goodie. You see this eagle right here? If I hit Q, it properly targets the eagle and sets a little target above him. But we can actually overhead on the target as well. I've learned that just today. I'm gonna share with you guys. So right now I'm doing overhead over my character and he says one mob equals an eagle. I can actually set a color here and then I can target one mob, okay? Prepare to be mind blown. Whoa, look at that. It shows the overhead over the target. So now we're gonna go ahead and update our provoke nearest. That way you can actually get some visual feedback on which target's targeting what. Hmm? Sounds cool to me. Go ahead and do that. Okay. So we're gonna get some things to attack each other and hopefully we'll see this in action. We're gonna we're gonna target nearest, which is the living flame, and then that raw fire is too far away. I'm gonna die. This is a great start to show off my good skills. I'm gonna run over here, and hide. Ah, I'm a bard. Leave me alone. All right, living flame. We'll, we'll attack the great heart for now. How do I tell the cooldown on this thing? That's going to be my next thing I have to do, right? Whataburger only came up to Missouri. It's Patrick. <laughs> my home misses it. Hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do.
The Midwest doesn't have a Whataburger either. I mean, that's all right. It's not the best, you know? Chick-fil-A, though. You guys got Chick-fil-A, right? How do you tell these guys are properly fighting each other? What does Barting Break mean? Like, this is confusing, being a bard. So, they are attacking each other, but how do you know? Just because of this provoked? But what did Barding Break mean? Because they were still attacking each other, even though it said Barding Break. Does that just mean you can't target them again? Raw fire. Fire elemental. The provoke stops. That's what that means? Yeah. How come when I see other bards fight that they, they just wreck shit? Why am I so slow? Is it my lyric? Is it because I don't have any lyric EXP? I have earned a point for my bard codex. Womp 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 womp! We're doing it, guys. Now which which one did I want first? It's like uh is it pitch perfect? Is it the one that increases my chance? That's probably what I want first, right? Yeah, air is is uh handy. Uh air is what I normally play, and that is swing speed, yes. I'm trying to get this lyric though, because the lyric increases my bard effectiveness and skill bonus. The other thing is this throat singing increase provocation distance. So that is obviously something I want. Vocal range increases the targeting skills. So that's probably what I want to sing your own song. I don't care about revolution. Provoke creatures and flick seventy five. Ooh, that's nice. What should I get first? Damage. Increased chance? I'll wait till somebody tells me. Let's kill some more monsters here. Q. Q. Okay. And now, so the next thing I need to do is I need to make where it uh, waits to provoke. Okay, so that's what I'll work on next. We'll go ahead and just leave the, the secondary target for now because that's I'm going to need that. <clears throat> uh, but I do want to make sure that I know when I can use the provoke skill. Because right now, if I just hit it a bunch, it, it does it without checking the skill, right? Look, look at me, I'm making them fight each other. I'm not even doing shit. Is 
See, like that didn't work right there. You must wait a few moments. Uh, do I have room for Shiverly? No, I don't. So that's my problem. And again, maybe I don't know the build. I just went off the wiki. Uh, oh shit, I'm dying. Let me run over here. I, uh... I'm just going based on the wiki of the Provoke Archer build. And it's... It's this guy right here. So it's 80 anatomy, 100 archery, 120 discord to dance, 80 healing, 120, 120, and 100. And it says in the notes that once you get better, you can replace the 80 healing with Shiv. Um, but right now I'm a brand new noob bard, so I will probably need the healing. You can make a macro that shows a timer just so you know when to cast. It'll just play over your head. Yeah. One would normally do that, but we're gonna script it. We're gonna make it amazing. Oh man. Uh, how goes the scripting? So we we were in we've uh We've made the provoke at least one single hockey that just requires one extra target. So I'll give you an example here again. Uh, I'm gonna hit Q, it's gonna target the medic and then I'm gonna hit the rebel soldier. So it at least uh, is easier. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Um. Thank you for telling me that I was hiding the skill tree. See a lot of bards running around with like 25 gray hill pots. Yeah, I currently have no pots. I think I should I should get some of those. All right. So anyway, so the, I mean, again, that's this script's not bad, right? Like it's, it's not terrible. We got it at least fighting, you know. All right, and then the other thing that we did was we added the overheads to the mobs. Um. Because that's something I learned today. That you can overhead a mob and not just yourself. Shiv has two healings. You can still use pots for emergency as you drop healing. Oh, okay. Big fan, thank you for the scripts. Hey, man. Thanks for checking out the uh, the scripts, the stream, you know? Trying to learn how to play. Very bad at the game, but appreciate you guys learning with me. Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I feel like we're just sitting here for days waiting for these guys to kill each other. Meanwhile, when I'm on Pwnstar stream or who anybody else I see run by, it's like shit just blows up on the screen. We'll figure that out eventually. Oh, the other thing I'm not doing is the Discord dance. Maybe I sh maybe that is part of the problem. I should probably add that in. So many things to keep track of. Like who shoot me right now? The scout. Fuck you, scout. Kill that medic. <laughs> oh, 
All right. So I'm getting all anxious here because like I know what I need to do. I want to I need to add in the checks for if I can use the skill or not, right? I need to get this coordinates going. I need to, you know, start working out in real life. There's a lot to do. A lot to do tonight. Something's nuking me. Mage over there. Mage. Comes the captain. With that medic. You must wait a few moments. Okay. We're killing shit now. Gaining skill. I don't have my buffs going. Shit, yeah. Okay. By the way, if there's any questions or if anybody wants a particular script, that's probably where I shine. I don't shine playing this game. I, I shine answering questions. So if anybody has a question, feel free to ask it in the chat via Super Chat, and I'll be sure to answer it. <laughs> just kidding, you don't have to use Super Chat. You just type it in the regular chat. And we'll try to cover it together. It doesn't have to be barding. I mean, obviously this is a barding episode, so if you want to drop a barding question, that'd be fantastic. Um, but if you want to ask me, you know, like, hey, Jace, how do I set a organizer agent up so that it doesn't suck? I can ignore you until next time. Right, Andy? Or maybe you don't play this game and you just came into the stream because you wanted to hear me rap. You know, it's all good. I almost wrapped for you. So here's the other thing that's interesting is when you target, when I'm targeting my provoke target, it automatically attacks the person I'm targeting. I don't like that. I'd rather it attack the initial thing that I'm doing. But maybe we'll mess that with that. Barting break. Ooh, saved you guys from that cough. Good mute skills, yeah, thank you. Been working on that. <clears throat> um, <laughs> how's it going, Dia? Trying to prevent the spread of COVID around here. Uh, okay. Speaking of drop-off organizer scripts, we'll cover that now, because might as well. So one of my organizer scripts is this bad boy right here. And I haven't shared this yet. Maybe I should put this on the website. But there's some sp specific items that we I know I'm going to put away. And they're like spell books and uh, archery bows and something else. Okay. But basically, my hotkey is Control shift o for Organize, okay? But I have some checks here to say, hey, only run this if I'm at home in my beautiful wagon, right? Because my beautiful wagon has everything I need in this particular position, right? So if I'm not in this position or this position, then don't run it. So like, that's a, a, little, a little hack 
for you guys. If you have some organizer agent scripts, just add in a position check for where you normally like to drop off, right? Some people might have bigger homes than me, so they might have multiple tiles they want to check. But for me, I just check those two. Okay, and then what I do is I try to, and maybe I can change this because this is super old, but I use the dagger and I try to target my restock bag. Now, since I got killed by an anaconda at the zoo, I no longer have my restock bag. So this will say, hey, reset your restock bag. Okay. And then I try to use my shelf and I target my restock bag, which is like all my little goodies. It will be this guy, which is hidden on the screen because I, I hid my screen. But anyway, it's this little guy. Okay. And then it targets that bag to put away some goodies. And then I do another resupply. Okay, and then what I do is I say, hey, if uh, this doesn't exist, set the loot bag. And if it still can't find the restock bag, reset it again. If I happen to just have regular leather in my backpack, I put it in the bag and then I put it away. I was using this when I had a bunch of different loadouts for leather. I no longer just have a loadout for leather, um, but it was helpful to like, if I was wearing shadow, then it would put away the non-shadow pieces, if that makes sense. Anyway. Uh, and then I open up all my chests that are around me. I then loop through all the tomes inside of my magical box here and it puts away everything that could possibly go in a tome by clicking each one of these and doing the menu on it and then i loop organizer agents one through eleven and to answer andy's question before which by the way i'm finally getting to uh I loop it twice because the organizer agent doesn't always properly put it away in one run. So I just loop it twice. I basically try to run all these agents real quick and I say if nothing was found then move on. And then while queued I wait. Okay, And I used to spam waiting but now I remove that. Yeah you added it a second time yeah. So I just did a little 4-2 and I loop all the agents again. Okay, and then I also loop any of the loot items um, and I try to make sure that they're unidentified before I move them. Uh, and then I opened up my ship hot bar. But we'll go ahead and run this and you guys can see kind of what I do. So again, if I'm not at home, it doesn't work. If I come into here, control shift O, it's like, hey, reset, reset your restock bag, which is this guy. It opens up all my things, puts shit away. I'm gonna drop the gold on here. Pretty cool. And so, as you can see, it found an unidentified crossbow. And the reason why is because if you, if I had my crossbow that I'm using, like in my bag, and it was part of the organizer agent, then it moves it no matter what, right? And so part of my organizer agents is I don't add gear that I normally wear. And instead I loop those items. So I don't know if you guys have seen my video before where I do loops through, you know, hundreds of items. Instead of doing that, I only loop a few items that I know I'm going to want to check, which happens to be like bow, spell book and crossbow. In my case. Yours might be more. All right, anyway, uh, and that didn't run quite right, but we're going to go ahead and just run it again. You guys can see how it's like, okay, so it now knows my bag. And it properly just runs all these real quick. Boom, boom, boom. All done. Okay, pretty cool, huh? Hopefully that helps somebody. Andy? But it sounds like you already doing what I do, is you run it twice, because it's stupid. But. 
Back to being a bard. Sorry about that all. Hopefully you learned something this this stream. So one of the things that we do is like we have a timer, right? And this is something that I've been I've been wanting to do maybe on a lot of scripts. So this is the perfect time to do it. But we basically have an overall timer of like a skill, right? And if I run provoke, I have 10 seconds to run it again, maybe five if it fails. Right. So we're going to set an overall timer for that. We're going to say if timer exists, if not timer exists. And we're just going to name it skill check. And if and we will create a timer if it doesn't exist for skill check. I don't like how it's highlighted that, that I might change the name because skill is a keyword. S check. Skill check, S check. Free timer, S check. And then we'll set timer. S check. To be 11 seconds. Okay. So then when we use our skill provocation, we only want to use it. And by the way, I'm going to remove these ignore because these weren't working right. <clears throat> if our timer of S check is greater than or equal to 11 seconds, then we can use it. Oops. And if. Okay, and so basically this is going to say I'm going to run this script, but I'm only going to use provo provocation if I can actually run the skill, right? And so if I run it, then I want to actually set the timer of S check back to zero. So it starts over again. Now, why would I do this, Jace? Like, what does this even mean? Well, what we're going to do is since I only want to hit the key once, damn it. We're going to have it loop this little section until it's successfully done, right? So we're going to leave all this as it is. But then we're going to say, while not dead. And while. OK, and once it runs all that, we can say stop inside. We're done. So basically, if I hit Q and I run this, and then I hit Q again, it's gonna wait in this while loop until it can actually run again. Does that make sense? We're gonna go try that out. Again, I'm trying to minimize the amount of keys I have to push. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I don't know if it actually will in, in fact help us play the game, but it sounds cool. All right, let's try it here. So I have a Raven and a Mung Bat. We're going to see if these guys are going to attack each other. I'm going to click Q, which will go to Raven and Mung Bat. What instrument will you play? Fuck, I put away my instrument. I'm a bard now. I can't just put away instruments. This is my instrument from earlier. It's almost dead, but that's OK. We'll use that. Noob mistake. Hey, the other thing is, it's still going to say that. So I'm going to hit Q. Nothing to attack. What instrument shall you play? Let's go ahead and handle that appropriately in this script so that it never happens again. Yeah, whether the shepherd's crook while trying to focus aggression. Yeah, exactly. What are we doing? We're putting away our tools. All right, if we use skill provocation, if insist message, what? What is the, what is the, what does it say? What instrument? How do you spell instrument again? Holy shit. In instrument shall you <clears throat> end if. Okay, 
if we happen to get this instance message, then we'll actually target. Uh, we'll just start with the loot, but we'll add everything in there. Greater than info on the loot. If find type loot backpack as any and if target any. And I already set all this up in another script, so we're just going to grab it out of the other one. Uh, that's going to be under Bard. Training Provoke. And we have this little what instrument logic right here. We're going to steal that. We're going to go back over to Provoke Nearest. And we're going to plop that logic right into here. So now our Q key will say, hey, if we haven't, if we run this and it doesn't know what to do, we're going to properly just target instrument we got. <clears throat> so let's run this again. If I run it, it should properly ask us to provoke Q. Select a variable for mob two. I'm going to click myself. You successfully provoke them. And I just murdered that bird. Get a water sip. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, run over here again to some actual mobs that will hopefully kill us. So we're going to hit Q and we're going to click raw fire. You fail to excite anger. Holy shit. I need to add that as a system message so I can see it above my character. Let that heal. Okay. You. You fail to it failed again. Is this right? Is this game working right? Is this how bards are? Okay, so now if I run this again, it's going to wait in this loop until it can properly do it. And I should add a message here while it says waiting. <clears throat> if you guys remember, we're, we're trying to like do a skill check here, so we're gonna... We're gonna say else. Okay, so we're gonna run this again. If I run Q again, waiting for skill cooldown. See that? So now it will properly only run provoke when it can. Boom. Okay, we're getting better. It's getting more automated. You guys with me on this? Does this make sense? Why does it keep failing? Be waiting for school cooldown, boom. Okay. So now I'm gonna add in... I'm gonna add in Discord Dents because... I don't want to have to click two buttons. So we got a we got a proper thing going on here, okay? And I say stop here, but I think I'm gonna say break because I wanted to break out of this guy, okay? And then I'm gonna do it again. Oh, here I gotta I gotta get back to the, the fight real quick. Oh shit, that guy's just wrecking me. 
And guess what? We're gonna have to add in a heal script too, huh? So one key can rule them all. Also, I'm not, as you can see, I'm not checking my buffs either. That's gonna get added in too. We're, we're gonna automate this bard, sure enough. I'm gonna double click that heal like a, like a player of the game. All right, we got him. Hey, we got some drums. Let's go. We got a flute, let's go. It's like the game wants us to play a bard. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna hang out here for just a sec. <clears throat> so We now have a Provoke Nearest, which properly holds our skill with the check. Uh, we are gonna remove the, the over the mob because I like it over my head, silly. While we're not dead and our skill check is greater than equal to that, we will use Provocation and we will target that shit and it will happen. And then we'll break out, okay? And then we'll do another while wow. not dead. And wow. Okay, and we're gonna basically do a Discord check. So we're gonna do the same timer check in this other loop. But we're gonna use skill Discordinance. Okay, and we can leave the same instrument check because maybe it fails. We don't necessarily need that in here, but we'll leave it for good time's sake. <clears throat> and then if our target exists, we will target. Mob one. Okay, and if that is success, then we'll target mob two. So this is now one key to properly provoke and then discord both of those creatures. Let's see if it works. And we'll see if this is overkill. <clears throat> Maybe this isn't what I want, you know? It's like when we were playing a, a, a thief and I had everything in one hockey and it wasn't that great. And then I broke them out into individual hockeys and then they nerfed the fucking thief scripts. You know? Let's do this. Don't worry, guys, this is worth watching, okay? All right, here we go. We're gonna go in here. I'm gonna hit Q. And I'm gonna hit this medic. It properly got them. I'm getting killed, so I'm gonna have to run away. I'm gonna have to run away. So that didn't... It didn't do quite what I wanted it to do. Because I had to run like a bitch. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start with these two guys here. Boom, mage. Okay. <clears throat> and is the cooldown actually eleven seconds? I don't know. But look, we just discorded that guy. And now we should discord the mage. Boom, got it. Evoked in Discord. Alright, we're gonna get this creepy soil off of me. I'm gonna keep shooting the mage. Okay, so as you can see, the other thing is now that I'm I've already discorded them. So does it necessarily need to do it again? Probably not. But we could add a check for that. Okay, so far so good. 
So far, so terrible. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if this makes sense. I feel like it uh, does. It does. It almost makes sense, right? Oh shit, I'm not paying attention. I was all tabbed. We're gonna have him attack that orc. We're cheating, because he can't actually attack that orc. <coughs> Excuse me. Far so good. So I, I like the fact that I can I can preemptively queue up the next target to to provoke. I don't know if I like the auto... Um, I don't know if I like the auto discord. I might change that. We might make that a separate key. Because just because I have them queued doesn't mean I want them to be discord against. Right? Or do I always want that? The other thing we could do is we could we could single check to see if Discord is in the name. Let's do that. So inside of my script here, uh, we're gonna do this while they're fighting. I feel like. Alpha Romero, you're gonna sing, right? I mean, this is a bard edition. Yeah, I should. <clears throat> Please allow me to. <coughs> sing to you. Let me sing for a moment. <laughs> uh, you probably don't want me to sing. To be fair. Besides, the shit that I sing, I don't know if anybody wants to hear that. Alright, so what we're gonna do... So we're gonna kill these two mobs and then we're gonna run away and do uh, uh, an improvement to the script to only do Discord and Ants if they don't have the, the buff already. That way if we happen to switch to the target, it doesn't need to like try to do it again. That makes sense to my brain. This captain's getting wrecked. Bring me some bad loot. Save you guys. All right, we're gonna we're gonna step away from that guy because we're slow at attacking. We're slow at killing. By the way, no one told me what I should choose for my first point in my bard codex. So maybe I should just choose for me, right? I should just choose for myself. Should be a big boy. Pitch perfect. Increase the bardic success chance. Sure, Jace. Let's choose that one. I think that's a great option. Yeah, you should definitely choose that one, Jace. Yeah, I think I think for the first one, you might want to go with pitch perfect. Reverb. What is reverb? Gain damage bonus 5% towards the target or targets of the most recent barding skill usage. Marlitz, congratulations. You're my first point. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. 
I'm a bard now. <laughs> I'm a bard now, bitches. All right. So the other thing that we were going to do with this script <clears throat> is... I don't like how shit doesn't line up right. I do not have an any. I'm because I'm gonna make sure that. Oh no. Why is it not highlighting correctly? I do not have any. I do not have any. Okay, there we go. No, I just copied and pasted. I got rid of the single quote, which is my problem, and then I just copy and pasted the whole thing. That's a good hack right there if you want to refresh your whole shit without having to hit spacebar. Got you, Andy. We learned things on these streams, like how to hack the program. Yeah, life hack. That should be the title of the stream. Life hack. UO edition. Uh, anyway, yeah, so the, the single quotes that don't make it. I do not have any. I do not have an any. All right, so the other thing that I wanted to do is I only wanted to do the discordinance check if the current label didn't have discordinance. So we're going to re-get the label of mob one. We're gonna re-get the label of mob one. And if the timer check is greater than this and description of one, wait, I wanna say and discord in disc one and not discord. This is where it gets crazy because you can't always do not in because it doesn't always work like that. You have to do it who invented Razor? God. If Discord in disk one, then we'll break. Because we know it's already Discorded, so we don't care. Because that's mob one, and then we'll check mob two as well. And then we'll go disk two. This to Bob two, and then we'll just add a little overhead message already discorded. And some might say, "What are you doing, Jason? This doesn't. <clears throat> this isn't going to help you." And to that, I say. Good day, sir. Welcome to the stream. Where we program the game. We don't play the game. We program the game. All right. So we have our mob one. We have our mob two. We provoke them together if we can. We are going to try this out real quick. Because now we should only do Discord Enhance if it needs it. I'm glad to help Andy. Uh, good to catch you live, perhaps answering one of the most annoying problems. Piecing my own pets by accident. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Uh, we can try that out. My current, this current bard is, I don't have peace. But we will, we will handle that situation for you in one second. Uh, this, this current script that I'm working on is a, is a single, a single provoke script that will include discordinance. So we're going to go over here to my friendly Rahai over here we're gonna hit Q and then we're gonna hit raw fire and it provoked so that works and now it should discord an ants the instrument played its last tune it should properly pick my next instrument guys oh my god it chose the loot who writes this shit? 
Okay, so we're gonna run it again, and it should oops, we're gonna run it again, and it should skip. It should say already discorded, watch. Already discorded, already discorded, boom. Oh my god. Who writes this shit? It's waiting for a skill cooldown, that's fine. Why is it waiting for a skill cooldown still? Looks furious. Oh man, I'm a bard. Play, okay. Boom, you guys. I think I'm doing it. I think, I think I'm becoming a real bard. Look how, look how fast I murdered those things. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hype, hype, hype. How come I didn't play the bad loot? Alright. Matthew, now that we have that script working, I... I can answer your question. Uh, Andy, oh wait, Merle, let's crawl, walk, run the method thrown out, we gotta run 24, yeah, 24 seven. So we're botting, we're botting at this point. We're gonna get kicked off the server. Andrew uh, mentioned Noto check. <clears throat> Dude, it's so terrible. Bard skills aren't included in the smart targeting. Noto check, what is this voodoo? I think you could target with a script and do a notoriety check, so you're gonna end up accidentally targeting something blue. So true. Orphan Nougat, let's go. Can we get a hype horn? Yes, we can. I just spam that like I just my my button finger just. Does the sound work? By the way, can you hear it this time? You know, not like the other other day when I was hitting noises and no one seemed to care. Like no one wanted to let me know that shit wasn't working. Appreciate you guys for hanging out. In my silence, I was over here jamming to the music, you know, and I was even I even commented like, oh, like this is a weird song name, NPC Virus One, and then nothing. No one's like, what are you fucking talking about, Jace? You just guys let me just chill here by myself. It's all good. Thank you. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for talking. Yeah, I blame him too. He's a mod. He should be helping me out. He should be like, hey, Jace, he should be texting me. My phone should be going off like, dude, are you retarded? You're not allowed to use that word on stream. I'm like, oh, sorry. All right. So to answer the answer the question about we got a question coming in for Matthew. And it was, how do you prevent Doing barding skills on your own. Did you discord me? I guess you did. Wait, you discorded me? You're a bard too? <laughs> uh, so to answer your question about how do you prevent from doing it on your own pets? Let me ask you, how are you currently selecting them? Are you using a hotkey? Are you just clicking the skill and then clicking a monster? Or how are you currently running into your situation? That sucks. And then once we get that answer, we can we can edit. We can work together on a solution. Meanwhile, we're gonna go run and kill something else with this one hotkey cue of trying to select some things to kill each other. I still wish I didn't have to target, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Currently. Begging. Alright, I'm gonna hit Q. And then I'm gonna hit shallow water. Waiting for school, Q little down school. You play successfully weakening them. And I here is where I think it might help to have a uh overhead target situation on top of the mob.
you select with razor targeting, you have smart targeting enabled and queuing and you use smart last target. Okay. Yeah, because you're probably like healing your pets and then you want to then you want to go back to like attacking the mob. Yeah. OK, so going back to like kind of what Andy was saying, is there something called a notoriety check? And I was doing that over there in the zoo. So I'm going to pull up my training discord and dance provoke. Stream snipe. Play Freebird. What's Freebird? Hey, you're, I think you're my first stream sniper. Just kidding. Somebody actually stream sniped me and stole my fucking Averhide crossbow when I was on my streaming, on my stealing stream. Rude. They didn't even tell me. Sons of bitches. All right, anyway. Uh, going back to Noriety, where is it? That's not the script. Provoke Zoo, training Provoke Zoo. So there is a um, keyword called Noto. And you can basically say if noto of your target equals hostile, then you know you can use it. So this is kind of what smart targeting should be doing. But you might want to uh, change around how you're doing your targeting. Um, <clears throat> trying to think of how I can do this because I'm not a piecer. I guess I could just use Discord. Denance. <laughs> However you say it. You guys are making me self-conscious about how I talk. <clears throat> You're open to exploring, but only if you get it solid. I hear you. All right, so Andy set me up with the Discord dance. Is that really how you say it? Discord dance? Discord dance? That doesn't seem right to me. Ooh, Sly, I appreciate it, you know? Yeah, you, you're calling Discord and Ants too? Me too. I think that's correct. Discord dense? Oh, you went with dense. I'm going, I'm saying dance. Ooh. Discord, <laughs> Discord denance. You learn a lot of shit on this stream. Try Googling it. Hey, try downloading this game, Lemon Hammer. I know you've never played. You should play. It's worth. Hashtag worth. It's correct, and I don't care what anybody says. Exactly. That's what I say. Rune Crow. Google will let you play the sound of it. Here, let's try it out. Discord and Let's see if this comes through. Discordance. 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 Okay, the next time I have to say the word, I'm just going to make this a hockey. Discordance. We're going to we're going to go ahead and make a script about discordance. And we'll make sure that this discordance qu correctly targets the right target. Thanks for tuning into the stream about discordance. What the fuck is that word hard to say? That's some bullshit. Okay, so that's my other idea. Instead of actually talking, I should have hotkeys for all the all the words that are hard to say. Because this particular word, discordance, is hard to say. And I want to say discordance. So fuck you dictionary and Google. 
And whoever doesn't pronounce it the way I pronounce it. All right, here, we're gonna hit Q again, and then we're gonna hit that guy, and look at, look at that script. Look at, waiting for skill cooldown. You're just tuning in. We have this script here, it's playing for us. Look, hands-free. Uh oh, my kids are, kids are screaming. Everything's going on right, all right over there. Okay. Google play the sound of it. Yes, we've discovered that we're all saying it wrong or right, depending on how you like it. Chitin shell shield. Shitten shell shield. Honed. Elvo. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, you still call it Discord Advance, bro. I believe. I agree. How can you emulate targeting Q and Razor? Uh, make a little loop. Yeah, we can. We'll we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to make a hotkey for targeting your. See, it depends on how you play. But we'll we'll make something that I think how you should play, and then you can like choose to use it or not. Uh, yeah, dude. If I could get one of those Stephen Hawking machines to talk for me, that'd be great. I could just sit here and talk, like by this, you know. I could just be staring into the screen. Discordance. 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 Something like that. That wouldn't be bad. I could like sip on my drink and even talk to you guys. Discordance. Ah, <sighs> let's see. Can we get a heal pot in there? Agreed. Yes, we're gonna get a heal pot in there. We're gonna we're gonna make this thing be the ultimate barding script provocation. Dis Discordance. Discordance script. Yeah, you can, dude, you don't, you don't need to compensate me. You can give me an item that I can give away. That sounds good. So we can have a giveaway stream. That way I can show up, Honestar and, and Job, all these guys that give away shit. What do I have to give away? 3k? A bone helmet? You can call it the hawking hole. What the? Yeah, I love research materials. Because in order to get this the script going, I, or not the script, but this character going, I needed to borrow some items from a friend who really likes research materials. <clears throat> All right, so what am I doing? I'm supposed to be helping somebody. I'm trying to help someone. And I'm just running around, staring at the screen, giggling. Knowledge, you give away the knowledge. So true. Thank you. The knowledge of how you should play the game, because I don't play the game. Yeah, I've, I don't know if you guys see this title here, Legendary Role Player. That means that I'm a casino addict. That doesn't mean I'm a winner. It means I'm a loser. Like to the extreme. Anyway, all right, so back to the question of hand. How do we make a script that uh, that targets only somebody bad uh, for peacemaking, right? So we'll we'll go ahead and we're going to hit Bard here. Actually, no. Yeah, we'll say Bard and we'll say new and we'll say peace. Peace. OK, and we're going to we're going to pretend the skill that we're using is peacemaking. Uh, but for this, I'm going to use skill uh, discord dance discord discord dance. We're gonna use skill discordance. Okay, and then we're gonna wait for target. 
500 and <clears throat> you only want to target something that is ready to be targeted shit what am i doing so basically the way that you currently have your last target i don't know if we can do this like let's make sure our options match i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna go over targeting and queue so i have use smart last target you have that on correct matthew yes yes you do i believe right and then you had what was your other thing that you had Each one of these are targeted. Okay. We'll go ahead and... Oh, er. And you're using the Q. Okay. See, this matches you. That sound good? And you heal your pet. Shit, I don't have any pets. Yeah, I do. I have a pet here. Okay, so if I click him, he should be my beneficial target. Yes. Okay. And then if I click this guy over here, he should be my last target. Beneficial target. Last target benefit. Are we with it? So if I wanna if I wanna create a key. Is he my last target now too? Son of a bitch. Okay, harmful target, perfect. Beneficial target, harmful target. So, if for whatever reason you have a harmful target already, we can say, uh, use skill discordinance, wait for target, and then hockey. I'm gonna save that real quick and we're gonna go over to hotkeys and it's like harmful. Set last harmful target. Set last target harmful. I wanna target. You can't target harmful, can you? Why would you? Why would that make sense? So if I use skill discordance, which again in your case would be peacemaking, and you wait for target and you target last target, right now. My last target is, in fact, Jace Pones, but I want it to be Chickadee. If I play this, it casted it on Jace Pones, which is not great. Last target. There's got to be some keywords, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and load up the old wiki. And we go to the wiki, but I'm gonna switch over here real quick. So I'm at the you know uorazorscripts.com website, and then there's the link to the wiki here. And we're gonna look for tar last target 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 type, which is not what we want. Ground no target exists. Target exists is like the action that we have. Last combatant. That is a, I, I'm sure you guys are hearing me type. I'm trying to search in this and it's not. <clears throat> All right, let's get back to the stream real quick. Boom. Uh, and going back to this, if Noto class target equal hostile, and if not hostile, 
Okay, so like this, this should not run, right? Because our last target is technically Jace Pones. So it says not hostile, which is great. But we want, we want the target. Even though our last target is Jace Pones, we want to target our last harmful target. So if we use skill, or I'm sorry, and the last combatant, right? Was it that combat? Is that a thing? Overhead last combatant. Is that how you spell it? I'm going to copy and paste what you've typed. Overhead combatant, last combatant. Well, that's nothing. That might be in beta. See, it's attack last combatant. Like that allows us to attack whoever's attacking us. But we want to target whoever's attacking us or target <clears throat> our last harmful target. So last target, set harmful target. Man, just exciting. Um, target enemy targets. Yeah, maybe prompt for a set target. Yeah, so that's what I was gonna say. Like, technically we can not use like the last target shit and say like, you know, set bar, uh, you know, piece this guy, right? And then if the noto of piece this guy is hostile, then we can use skill piece on target. Boom, not hostile. Okay, so if we save, if we play it like this, Right, and we say play. It's gonna say, hey, select a target for peace this guy. And if we accidentally click our pet, it's like, nope, we won't do that. But if we if we play it on the chickadee, it properly will run the piece. So Matthew, this will work, but this kind of replaces what you're doing with like the last target shit. So this might mess you up more than it helps. But if you are in fact piecing your target and you're like, fuck, this is so annoying. Well, this will definitely fix that. And even if you accidentally click your own guy, it won't do it. Would you like this script? It's a guardrail. Sounds great. We will we will post this up. Well, peace make only hostile target by Jay Holmes on UO Outlands. This was a live stream question for Matthew. Okay, so we will save that. I'm gonna replace this with peacemaking. It's peacemaking, right? We're gonna save and play that. Peace failed. Perfect. Rip OBS or rip my connection? I don't know. Is it you or me? All right, we're gonna go head over to the website. We will post this script. Peace make only hostile target. Peace making. Tags. Stream. Bard. Peace. Boom. Copy URL. And we paste that into the chat. Real time. 
script creation and sharing. You can just head over to the website and just click copy script there. That will copy that to your clipboard. No problem, man. Thanks for coming in with the question. That's why we're here. That's what we do. We automate the game and answer questions. And then we get nerfed. Luthius is loading up the nerf bat. Nerf? Nerf? And they're gonna nerf this skill. Discordance. All right. <clears throat> Nerfed. <laughs> exactly. I speak well. I'm a public speaker. Okay. So what were some of the things that we needed to finish off with our... Discord dance? Never heard of it. I use Discord in it. Me too. Me too. All right, so we're going to go over to our awesomely... If anything, they'll nerf the hostility check. Exactly. Okay. So going back to our script here that is playing the bard for us. So far, we're doing all right. It's going to do the Discord when the thing's dead. Okay. So the other thing that we can check is I'm saying while not dead. We can actually say while not dead of the mob. Because if the mob dies, then we're all done. So instead of saying while I'm not dead, I'm going to say while that mob's not dead. So that's an improvement. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to... Um, put a label on the target. So we're gonna say already discorded on the mob one. Okay, and we will Overhead discorded there. Mob two. What did I say over here? Overhead discorded mob one. Overhead discorded mob two. Okay, we're gonna save that. Okay, so the other thing we wanted was a heal pot improvement. Yes, I agree. So we will we'll do that now. We're going to do greater than info on our heal pot. And it's a yellow potion. So we're going to click that little blue button. Oh, you guys can't see that. Let me close that down. We did greater than info in game. Greater than info. And then we click the heal pot. And it's called a yellow potion. We can click this blue little guy to copy and paste that. And basically we want to make sure that we don't die while this shit's happening, right? So inside our while statement, we can say if our hit points is less than, let's say 50. Let's, let's do, let's do a custom variable. And we're going to call it, uh, Auto, Bard, HP, check. So if our hit points is less than or equal to Auto, Bard, hit point check. And we're going to say if, find type, yellow potion in our backpack, as pot, and if, as pot, EOT. You click hot. Okay. And then we're going to set the auto barred hit point check up near the top so that we only have to set it once. We'll say set bar. Boom. Auto barred hit point check. And we'll set it to 60. If we get below or equal to 60 health, point, health points, 
we will pop a potion. Pop a pot if below or equal this HP. We'll add it to the top because we're organized in this script land of script town. Population us together. All right, and then we're going to add these to both of these loops, okay? Because maybe <coughs> maybe we need to be checking there, boom. So maybe we need to be checking there, boom. Okay. All right, the other thing is the timer, right? Like technically you can, can't just keep spamming a pot. The good news is if we just keep drinking it, it's only gonna tell us that we can't drink it yet, which is fine. Uh, VAR question, can you set a VAR equal to the diff? Like, no matter what someone's hit points. Oh, yeah. Mm. There is diff hits. So diff hits is a yeah. I mean we could we could change that instead of being a hit point check. You could say if diff hits is greater than twenty, drink a pot. If diff hits is greater than forty, drink a pot. You could do that. I'm gonna leave it at the, at the hit point check, but you're right. You could you could diff diff hits. I don't know what's better. All right, let's go to our fateful uh, raw fire and see if he's gonna kill us. And then hopefully we'll drink a potion. All right, running over here. We're ready to press Q. This guy killing our shit. Let's try him. Oh God, I'm dead. You must wait two seconds before using another heal potion. So it drank a potion, which is good. That guy heal me? Thanks. Is this not working? There we go. Now it's provoking. All right, so discorded. All right, is this working? Boom. All right, we're gonna give this guy the loot because he healed us. baby is knocking at the door. Are you the script guy? Yes. Just a second, Madeline. Heart, heart, heart. Yeah, baby stream incoming. I gotta go see her real quick. Oh, I think Nicole's getting there. Oh, poor little baby. I don't know if anybody can hear her crying. She's crying. Oh, baby. Um. No time to deal with baby. That is scripting. Come on now. All right, so that properly, uh, let's see. What was your question? Uh, someone's hit points is different than 40 healing. Bye -bye. Just thinking more of a global usage for a handful of people. 
We don't get a hundred strength. Who wouldn't get a hundred strength, Andy? I hear what you're saying, though. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it at the hit points. They can they can change it. We can make you can make another one. You can post one. <coughs> Add it to the website. It's free. Uelrazorscripts.com. Okay, so we're properly killing some monsters. We're properly uh Let me run out. Let me drop off some loot. Vlad, did you miss something? Yes. You've missed a lot. A lot has been happening. Like we're automating our bard at this point. We're still having to click manually for like that secondary target, but it's going pretty well. Um, and then the other thing is, we're gonna quickly cover something we've covered the other script. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but we did our, our put away script and then it put away my loot, my shit that I was actually using. However, I did spend time making a script for that the other day. Yeah, we'll show you we'll show you the script real quick. Let's let's go show you the script, okay? Alright, I'm gonna run over here. And uh, there's a harpy, but I need two things. There's a cuckoo. That's not good enough for us to kill. Come on. There's a horse. I don't care about that horse. A horse, a jolly horse, of course. Alright, we're, we're finding a monster for Vlad. Here we go. Going this way. We know there's monsters over here. Okay. So I run in here, and I hit Q. It targets the closest one, and then I need to select somebody, so I select a rebel, rebel soldier. They're fighting each other. I'm waiting for a cooldown. I'm waiting for a cooldown. Okay. It's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and rebel soldier to that scout. Okay, so now they're fighting. And it's waiting for a cooldown. Something is fucking nuking the shit out of me. I'm drinking heal potions. I'm not playing the game, look, by the way. Play it for me. We're gonna come over here because I feel like shit's going down. But anyway, we're gonna hit Q. And it clicks the medic, and then we click the soldier. Okay? So they're fighting each other. Look at him. I'm not doing anything. Okay, it's gonna discord both of them. This guy's coming in. Coming in hot. He discorded. Okay, these guys are fighting. We're gonna go ahead and skip these guys now. We're gonna... We're gonna rebel soldier. God, this is a terrible example. I'm getting rickety wrecked. Anyway, as you can see... I'm not even playing the game. All right. We're coming in here. We're coming in hot. I hit Q. It does the rebel soldier automatically, and then I hit the field medic. They're fighting now. Now I want these other two scouts to attack each other. So I hit Q, and then I hit Q. Okay, and they're gonna automatically fight. Boom, not hitting anything. Of course it fucking procs. Okay, we're gonna hit Q and we're gonna click the Rebel Scout. It's gonna it's gonna automatically provoke that thing when it can. No hands. No hands still. It successfully did it. I'm dying. I'm drinking a health potion. All right, so now that broke. Now I gotta actually play the game. Hit Q, and I select that guy. Then I come over here and I hit Q again, and I select the soldier. So here we go. It should make the scout attack the soldier. Come on. Boom. Jesus Christ, I am so good at this game. Bard bot, activate. Oh, and look, they're discorded. See that? God. 
Oh, oh, incoming medic. Again, I still want it to be where I hit the button and it just automatically does all this shit for me. So there's still a manual process of me clicking the button, which seems inappropriate, you know? Like... But this is going well. This is, uh... This is much better than the other day. <laughs> Look, Mondo hands! Yeah. Hey, Nicole. Thanks for taking the baby away. You're so sweet. By the way, I say it every time, but... Make sure you say thank you to Nicole. She's watching the children. Why we... Bard bot. We just got another skill point in our Bard Codex, so feel free to uh, tell me what I should put it in. Yeah, the Bard is definitely going to get nerfed. If hit points is less than 30, not fine buff, not night vision, or whatever the greater magic is, drink a pot. I've been struggling to think when I might use this. Uh, there is no bandage check at the script at the moment. I need to add that. Definitely need to add. Under 100% next patch. You can't provoke it to another creature. <laughs> nice. Yeah, exactly. They're going to remove like the uh, ability to check to see if something's dead or not. Like, my shit's too good. Understandable, though. You know? You could be looting these things like a noob. Only because... We can't boot it from Razor. They disabled it. Okay. So pretty good, right? I mean, I think I think the script is going going along. Here's some mobs that are actually hard. Living flame, boom, to the raw fire. Provoked. Okay. It's waiting for a skill cooldown. I could probably increase the timer. I could probably because right now I'm waiting a full eleven seconds to like do the next action. And I think it's less than that. So we could definitely have some more improvements here. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit this living flame over to the fire elemental. Boom, we're going to continue to shoot the raw fire. I just drank a, I just drank a health pot. Because that's what we do. Get more health pots. I'm an officially. I'm. I'm an officially. I'm officially a bard. I can just chug through health pots like a fucking pro. You can't loot through razor, but you can make it through an organizer. Well, not really, because anything interacting with the corpse is blocked. So once you loot it, you can you can move it around, but you can't actually get it off the corpse. Auto magically. Anyway, see, it says already discorded, already discorded if we happen to want to run it again. Oh man. I love it when shit works. I run over here and loot this shit. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Meat plow. Oh my goodness. I'm a fish ally? An off fish ally? What the? Oh, I am officially? What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you trying to get me to say something out loud? Is it working? By the other way, the other thing that we learned today is that you pronounce this word like this. Discordance. So if you ever needed to use the skill, now you know how to say it. Discordance. 
because I was saying it some different ways. And I'm still going to say it different ways. All right. I think we're doing good. Uh, again, the other thing that, why is this detect? Why is this up? Am I on the bard? I'm trying to provoke my nearest target. The other thing we can do is add a hit point check, right? A, a, if we're not bandaging check. So let's add that too. We can say if hit points is less than max hit point, max HP, and if, and not bandaging. Bandaging is a key word that's new. We could say hockey bandage self. Wow, that's it. Look at this simplified healing script. Oh, and we'll probably want to check uh, healing skill, right? This and check to see if we have bandages. So uh, if skill healing greater than zero. Well, hockey bandage self. Well, then we'll also check to see if we have bandages. They find type. Because, man, we are just, we are scripters at heart. We want things to be proper. We have fine type. Clean bandages. In our backpack. And if. All right, so what this says is if we have less than our max hit points and we're not currently bandaging, and we have a skill of healing, and we have bandages in our backpack, We'll just combine those things. That way we can have a... We can clean it up a little bit, Jace. You don't have to be a monster. If our hit points is less than our max hit points and we're not bandaging, and we have a skill of healing greater than zero, and we have clean bandages, bandage ourselves. Cool? I don't really like... Less than max hit points? Why? It will begin bandaging it. Yeah, even when you lose one hit point? Exactly. Don't you want that? Fine. Fine. We'll say diff hits is greater than or equal to 10. They're 90. That sound good? So if our diff hits is greater than or equal to 10 and we're not bandaging, then we'll start bandaging. Let's do that. You guys are wild. And so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just boom pop that there, and then we're gonna go down here and boom pop that there. And then technically we could say, "Wow, not dead." And wow, and just do our our checks for some goodies. That way, it continues to keep us alive. Okay, I think we have the most ultimate. Let's keep us alive with bandages and bullshit. Let's go attack some shit again. Let me drop off a pull real quick, just in case I get murdered. Oops. Boom. All right. This is our Q. We're going to run over and hit the Q. Once we get up against the mobs. Raw fire. Boom. Boom. Provoked. They're fighting each other, but I want to attack the raw fire. I'm bandaging, as you can see. Which is fantastical. Discorded that raw fire. Let's see if we can discord this fire elemental. Discorded the fire elemental. You guys. We're still kind of slow at killing. Is this just because I don't have a good lyric? I don't know. Farting break. 
Alright, I'm gonna Q again. Just try to just try to heal the monster. To be honest, it would be a difference. Uh, it will find an outlander, outlayer, something to set. All right, group, repeat it. There we go with a glitch already. Oh yeah. Uh, so the problem is with the good old bandage is uh, it brings up the cursor. Right, but so are these other actions that I'm doing. So... You gotta watch out for that. This guy's kicking my own ass. There we go. Alright. So, alerts if their banners are low, you don't need to script this account for that. Yeah, cancel cursor first, maybe you could. So the problem is the, the, the script is trying to t do the action where it thought that it's targeting something bad, but the bandage macro is running at that moment. So kind of tricky. But yeah, let's go fight some, uh, let's go fight a big mob. Let's go into the SSC where I've never fought before. I'm actually gonna get wrecked there, dude. Cause I don't have any, I don't have any aspect. So many cracker crumbs in the bed. You're welcome. Oh man. Who gave the kids crackers in bed? Thank you. You're that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for your pain. It wasn't me. I mean, it was probably my kids. She's sneaky. Sneaky little cracker eater. All right, uh, so we want to make sure that we have an instrument. We'll take the bamboo flute. We're gonna put the drums away. We're gonna put this away. We're gonna just manually restock real quick. Do I have any bolts? I have 117 bolts. Let's see, 50. Okay, we're good. Drop the gold. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry everybody. All right, let's go fight big mobs. Big mobs, no whammies. Oh, I don't know if I have a rune on this guy. Yeah, because I, I still have terrible aspect. Let's go let's go get some levels in the aspect. Let's go to Nasero. How can I get there now? My problem is my book is on my other character. Let me so witcheroo. Who has the book now? Not sure.
Nicole have the book? I do not have the book on Nicole. Chase. I used to get around with uh, with either camping or shiv. Now I don't have either one of those abilities. Son of a bitch. Are you gating me somewhere? Someone gate me somewhere? I just take a random gate? Sounds good. Thank you, whoever that was. You guys are the best. All right. We're gonna try to get some, some skillage. Thank you for the gate, whoever did that. It's probably Andy, right? Thanks, Andy. Or was it Horfin Nugget? Oh, I'm going straight to level three. All right, here we're gonna we're gonna do this one first, though. Okay, and I saw a little sneaker guy right over there, huh? Okay, shit. Wait, why did he disappear? No, he di okay, he didn't. He went back to his spawn, like a gubbo. Are we winning? Are we winning, son? I think we're winning. By the way, do I want to wait for another point for reverb? Or do I want to put my point into something? You guys tell me. Level 3 amateur seconds. If it sounds great to me, let's do it. I'm a professional. I'm a bard now. I'm an art automated bard bot. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh hey, health port. Peace might be good here, huh? Lord of the Abyss. You guys fighting each other? Yeah, thank goodness. Woo! Ooh we oh god smoke drake Literally I will still this strip yeah exactly this this script is uh it's going good I'm gonna get this smoke drake over here on that Eldrick Drake boom Disappeared is that good or bad I don't know Evoke 11 seconds. The fuck? Why is that guy shooting me like that? No, not like this. Am I winning? right my loot bitch this other one gonna be my loot I don't know I don't know how bar damage works yes it's mine as well 
Oh, ah, ah, ah. All right, we're off to a good start. We haven't, we haven't got killed yet. Oh, that's somebody's loot. Okay. Earth Dragon. I normally don't fight down here, so hopefully. We don't get rickety wrecked. And if we do, you know, we do it for the stream. Okay. Earl three, poor guy. Still that kill. Oh my god, this guy's wrecking us. I'm a little bit scared, guys. I don't play this game. What's easier, sunworms? These guys down here? Hey. I can't I can't tank two hits of these guys. We've learned something today. Even with all the scripts in the world, I'm still a noob. How come someone didn't warn me that I shouldn't have gone there? I feel like you guys set me up for failure. Someone told me that outpost is the best place to spawn because it's the smallest. It's gibbed. Agreed. Ah, that will teach me for trying to be cool. Be in shit that I probably shouldn't be in. Where is uh Should I just try to run back real quick? No one's gonna loot me there, right? I'll try to run back real quick. Buy some bandages. And we'll head on our way. Although I don't have a room to there. Someone hit me up with a with a teleport. Andy or Kev. Hit me up with a teleport. Quick, I gotta get back to my body. Quick. No. Yes. Get the bomb. Here we go. I got my own gate bots. All right, so what we need to do is we need to watch out for the smoke dragons. Thank you, sir. Cause I don't want to get wrecked just running back to my body. Here we go. Alright, those are dead. Thank goodness. This is a running stream. We program for some, and then we just run for the rest.
Out of the way, you. Not for the dragon. Hey, an instrument. And loot. Already worth running back. And now we can at least provoke something. We run into some danger. Where did I die? Where? There it is. All right, we made it back. Thank goodness, no one took our shit. Woo! <laughs> the real G. The OG, oh my god, the real G, the OG, yeah, we are in this dungeon. Doing shit we shouldn't be doing. You guys are professionals. Did I loot everything? Do I have everything on here? Can I can I make my aspect? Activate it. Activate it. Alright, I am level zero aspect. I mean that's pretty silly to be down here, but it's all about the scripts. Carrying around all the scrolls like a freaking noob. Yeah, I loot everything. I Maybe I shouldn't. All right, let's see. So this is Battle Can guy. Can he fight this guy over here? Can we, can we pull that tamer? And this guy? Oh my fucking god, what's going on? Waiting for a skill. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What do these mobs do? I don't... God damn it. Alright. So who fights these things? What am I supposed to do? Why is he so fast? Waiting for skill cooldown. They're too far away. Is it working? You can't tell them to attack themselves. Uh... Why is it not... Why is it not working? Oh shit, I'm gonna die again. There it, it, oh my goodness, who... That, did that course have 2,000 gold on it? What the fuck? Okay. We got this. I'm gonna provoke it. It's gonna provoke. It's not provoking. Why is my script not working? I'm gonna hit Q. And then it wants me to target this other one. Like, what's happening? I need to figure out what's happening. Can I just not do these monsters? Are they too strong for me? Mob 1, a fork ton spine breaker, which is him. A fork tongue spine breaker. I don't understand this game. Where is this guy with this loot? I'm gonna loot that shit. I discorded him.
the red guy. I was trying to get some EXP. Wait, is there two two reds? Should I help fight him? This is embarrassing. Okay, here we go. You fail to entice anchor. These guys are gonna kill me. Okay, so I can't actually I can't play in this in this dungeon. I'm failing everything. We're gonna we're gonna get a little bit easier mobs. We're gonna go over here. Cause I yeah, that didn't work out for me at all. At all. Alright, here we go, here we go. Matreon to Matreon. Holy shit, guys. I did it. I properly... Discorded some shit. So now the question is, how long do they stay provoked for, right? How do you tell? Just click them. 14 seconds? Not very long. That's what she said. Like, what the fuck? This game's confusing. So they're fighting each other, but they're not fighting each other. Right? Like, is that what's happening? Because, like, why is one attacking me, but one's attacking the other one? Right? Like why like one's fighting me and one's fighting him? What is that? Okay, and this guy's fucking attacking me now. No? Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dip set out of here. I feel like, uh, I feel like I need to learn what the fuck is happening. Before I throw myself into the dungeon. Okay, so what was happening was, I was failing to provoke the targets, but my script thought it succeeded, so then it would kick over into the, like, discordant. Then it would kick over to the discordance part of the script and then I would get stuck on a skill waiting to like, hey, I just try to like discord your target instead. <clears throat> so I see where I'm messing up there. Like my script assumes provoked worked right before it moves on. And I need to make sure that they're actually provoked on each other before I continue on. So that's a good that's a good improvement that I should work on before I head down on deep into the dungeons to make sure that I'm properly um, 
provoking the targets before before breaking. But hey, on that note, I am going to end the stream here shortly. So if there's any questions that need to be answered before I vamos, we will uh, get this answered now. Uh, I will post the script that I have so far on the website, just so if anybody wants to mess with it, uh, try to improve it on your own, feel free. Uh, I'll continue this same script exercise uh, stream and another one probably, you know, like three episodes. That sounds good to me. Uh, but for now, let me go ahead and post this on the old, the old website. Uh, this one's called uh, Provoke Bard Bot with Discordinance. You owe Al Ants. Live stream learning. Okay, we're going to save that. We'll post it to the old website. Scripts.com Discordance. <laughs> Add my script. Is it not working? Did I did I break the website? Did the website go down? Is my internet terrible? Does the website load for anybody else? Hello, is anyone here? Did my internet go out? That loads fine. Why does my website not load fine? There it goes. Interesting. Provoke nearest. Work in progress. That was weird. I don't know why it was so slow. Stream Bard Bot Broke Discord. All right, so this is the script that we've been working with. Go ahead and post that in the chat. Thanks for checking it out, Cross. Yeah, I don't know why it was so lag. Laggy for me. All right. Uh, so yeah, is there any questions? Anybody need anything before I log off for the day? Ah, I feel like this stream was uh, successful in the fact that we've improved our ability to play a bard by not actually playing the bard. We've learned that in order for me to go deeper into the dungeon, I need to fix the provoke thing because uh, otherwise you just get rickety wrecked. Uh, I also need a little bit of more aspect. Script for the Bard's getting there. Agreed. Very successful. Thank you. Yeah, the only the one thing that I didn't uh, actually use that we made the other time was the uh, put away script for uh, your smart instrument. So we're, we're going to use that real quick uh, and then I'll log off so you guys can see that in action and I can confirm that it does in fact work the way we think it should. Uh, but one of the questions that came in was when you put away your gear, it's frustrating to lose your instrument. And so we wrote a script the other day to make sure that this script sets your instrument and then puts shit away into the recycler. 
So I need to incorporate this into my actual like organizer script, the one that I use. Uh, but this is something I wrote for somebody else, right? And so uh, let's just review it real quick. And I'm basically trying to say, hey, do I have any selected? Or do we need to actually require the selection? And it, it basically counts any instruments I have in my backpack, okay? And it's trying to confirm I only have one instrument. If I only have one instrument, it sets it to the instrument that I'm using. It's like, hey, this must be the one because you only have one. If I have multiple, like I have multiple now, it's going to ask me to choose which instrument I want to save. OK. So let's go ahead and uh, look at this just real quick. So as you can see, I have two instruments and one was being used. Uh, anyway, so in here, it basically says if I have my instrument, drop it on the ground, do my inventory stuff, and then pick the instrument back up. Okay? So right now, this script is going to put anything into the um, item recycler. Okay, so let's just run this and you guys can see it in action. I'm going to close that down. I'm going to hit play. And it's like, please select your instrument. And we're going to click our instrument. Boom. Okay, it put it on the ground. It d emptied all the items that I got on the loot today, and then it put it back in my backpack. Okay, so here's the instrument here in my backpack, if you guys can see that. And it put the other instruments away into the recycler. Okay, and so now that I only have the one instrument, it, but it also is already set. It's like, hey, I already know your instrument, and it's this bamboo flute. So if I happen to get more loot on me, like let's say we went on another dungeon crawl and we got a bunch of we got a bunch of different items. And I run this again. It will properly toss my flute on the ground, do the inventory management shit, and then pick up the flute again. Okay? So, and this one's on the uh, on the website as well. Uh, what did I name it though? That's a great question. So that one is uh, on the website under this link. If anyone wanted to to check that out as well. So the thing that I need to do personally is I need to add this script into my just regular organizer agent. That way, when I run my, you know, control shift O, it saves the instrument that I'm using. But we'll do that another day. All right, hey, Merlitz, thank you for the loot train early on. Appreciate it. Uh, Chris, if you're still here, thank you, sir, as well. Andy, thank you for being here as always. Thanks for the gates. You guys uh, need anything? You know where to find me. Discord. UORazorscripts.com. In other people's streams. Because they're better at the game than me. And I'm going to go ahead and log off for now. Let me see if I can... Put a cool screen on. Boom. Oh. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. YouTube.com slash Jace owns. I uh, will eventually figure out that restream thing. That way I can stream on, uh, uh, what the hell is that other website called? Twi Twitch? Twitter? Twitters? Twitch? For now, I'm only on the YouTubes. All right, cool. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Peace. Stop streaming or end broadcast? Question mark.